Today's Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Big day for the 68 here. Uh, yesterday afternoon, we, we got the trunk in Raptor. It took three three jugs, and, but we got it in. So, pretty good job on that. Matches the bottom, matches the rest of the bottom. Uh, we were debating on base coat, clear coat, but this thing already had a, like a, some sort of rhino liner that was probably 15 years old. Yeah, excuse me, allergies, <clears throat> and uh, man, too much work to try and remove that, so we just wrapped it right on top of it, looks the same, except it's yellow, so three jugs for that, uh, we wet sanded the door jams and the uh, firewall, 400 grit, <clears throat> so today we're going to be sealing base coat, clear coat, door jams, and firewall, and inside the moon rooftop. I, I put some spot putty, I have to sand the spot putty, little pinholes. Uh, so, I'm going to be getting in that, and the jams, and the firewall. That's today's project. I'm also going to be working on the hood, hopefully get the hood and some 2K primer after a little bit more blocking, maybe another spread of some filler. But that's pretty much the gist of today's plan, is uh, get the jams in, work on the work on the hood maybe bring the steering column and the glove box door ac vent stuff like that up to speed uh where we left off is a, a paint of the trunk about five days ago so it's been sitting out here curing got rained on yesterday moon roof cover still there fenders are still there so we're moving right along uh we're gonna like i say get this thing jammed today and then the plan is, if all goes as planned, next Saturday be painting the entire shell. So hopefully a week from today, this thing will be in color. Uh, when we do paint it, we're going to have to get a much earlier start. Probably start around 6 in the morning. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, we also did the dash. We did the dash in 400. So that's, that's getting jammed today. We figure we can try to break this thing up. But it's not so much to do it one one go around because the, my little room <clears throat> it's only 20 foot long so yeah you can paint this whole thing at one time but it's it's pretty challenging and I, and I think it's more room for error when you try and do a whole too much at one time so if we can break it up into two days and, and then we don't have to get in and out the car that'd be great so bring you guys back in a little bit Glorious. If your doorstop is not a 13 by 7, this channel is not for you. What are you saying? I'm saying, if your doorstop is not a 13 by 7, this channel is not for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but, you know, that looks like a 155, but it's not. That's a 165. FR, man. FR 380. Never seen one. Anyway, so you guys got this jammed. Open it up a little bit. Jams, dash, inside the roof, and firewall, huh? Yesterday, the yeah, I did that this morning. Man, these came out nice, man. So, what was the process, man? Sealer? Two coats of base? Yeah, two coats of base, two coats of clear. We sealed really the areas where there was breakthrough. There wasn't a lot. Yeah, this came out nice, man. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh, this is dry. Oh yeah, it's dry already. Did it? So on the dash, man, what's actually seen? Um, the vent forward. Yeah, right there where you see the. Got a little trash right there, huh? That's a hair. So all all this is covered by a dash trash. It's not there. Okay. Zach, that's covered up though, huh? By the dash pad? Yeah, it's uh, not Oh, come on. 
dash pad from here from the vent? Yeah. Down. We'll, we'll have to wait sand that. Hmm. Yeah, from here forward, from the vent forward. Right here, right here? Yeah. And you got the AC vent in the middle. So the reason why we did this this way was that way when we paint the shell, we don't have to worry about all this other stuff. And especially in this room, kind of tight quarters. Can you imagine painting the whole shell? You'd have to push the car side to side. Like yeah. we need the, the room like five feet wider yeah. and five feet longer. Yeah, I thought it was a So what you think, man? You... I like it. I'm, I'm excited. Um... Oh, good answer. Nah. Nah, I, mean, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't ask for better. Perfect, man. Man. Yeah, man. Moving right along. Moving right along. We got the trunk and, or I'm sorry, the hood and, and 2K. Did that while they were doing this. The uh, skirts. We got the skirts in 2K also. Not a whole lot to show. Ran out right here, but we got it in one, almost two coats. So next for the hood is 180. Skirts also 180. Oh, we might go to we might go to straight to 400 on this. Because we already 180 these, so maybe 400 skirts are ready for paint. What you got, Bobby? Refreshments? Yeah, I think the I think the Lincoln needs a, a wheel alignment or fire balance. It shakes in the back, huh? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so we'll bring you guys back when we do the shell next weekend. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. The owner. <laughs> and the worker. The owner taking a swing. <laughs> he caught him. He caught him. It's George. Yeah. George. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. George. Man, so we just got this thing in 400 wet. We're about to give it a bath. So far, passing the water test, huh? Yeah, yeah man, beautiful. Gorgeous, man. Oh. Streamlined, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Streamlined. Trunk gutter's done. Yes. All right, so we're just going to give this thing a wash. It's about almost 8 o'clock, Friday night. Give it a wash, dry it, possibly mask it. And then come in in the morning and get to spraying. Eight o'clock, I think. I don't know how late you want to work. We can mask till how long is it take? probably eleven. Three hours to mask. Well, to wash and mask. Right. Two hours to two hours to mask, man. <laughs> yeah. So let me get the soap and water ready, and we'll bring y'all back. Right. Here we are. Today's July 30th, Saturday, 2022. It's 5:30 in the morning. And we just mixed up 24 ounces of sealer. Sealed this car real quick. We masked it off yesterday. We hit it with 400 yesterday wet. We gave it a wash. 
We masked off the jams, which are already painted in the dash. Firewall. Waxed and greased, removed it after that, which wasn't dirty because we washed it. And now we're going over with a tack rag. We let these candles burn in here overnight to smoke the bugs out. It's a pretty good little trick. We mixed up, uh, I say 24 ounces, so eight ounces of epoxy, eight ounces of reducer, eight ounces of activator, slow. Good morning. I don't think Bobby's been here this early ever. Slept on my back porch. Yeah, man. Don't sound like you gotta be responsible. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm going up. Mm-hmm. What, you, what you think, man? It's gonna be a good morning? I think we I wanna be done with this by like like one. one we spray uh spray the sealer at six or probably earlier man it's ready to go wait 30 minutes yep yep so we counted this thing had been blocked four times so far four times at least four times yeah man We'll bring you guys back once we get sealed. All right, so here we are. It's uh, about 8.15 in the morning now. We've got this thing in two coats of base so far. We're going to do three. We're going to do one more little insurance coat. But it's basically covered. Um, we're just going to take extra care of all the edges first whenever we do the third coat. All the edges first. And then do the outside, so... Covering really easy so far. It's been uh, 30 ounces per coat, uh, more, more like 25, 20, 26 ounces per coat. So we got plenty of paint. We're gonna have enough to do the hood, I think, and all the other little stuff. So uh, the little cit citronella candles, proven pretty effective. We do we did have some bugs. We got one that just landed, but we let them burn overnight, and and they actually were pretty effective so so far so good red red rockets doing most of the spraying They're doing a real good job so we're gonna get this third coat on and then probably wait about two hours probably go get some breakfast and then uh, come back for that wet wet so bring you guys back after third coat all right so here we are two hours later 95 degrees in here. Getting ready to spray the Universal with the Iwata 1.4 LPH 400 silver cap 35 psi. Clear mixes one to one. Mixed up quart. See how how far that gets us on the first coat, maybe. Probably more. Going over right now with a tack rag. It's been two hours. So we're gonna do three, three coats. guys back after the first coat here all right so here we are three coats later of the universal the results are in overall pretty good uh, I do have a, a little bit of dirt nibs but they're gonna cut down pretty easy actually I didn't spray this uh, mr. red rocket sprayed it I was kind of the mixing mixing man Quarters came out great, nice and straight. Doors. <clears throat> it's 95 degrees in here now. 
It's one o'clock. So right on time. That's what I planned for being done by one o'clock. Sprayed this with the Iwata 1.4, like I said earlier, 35 PSI. 32, 35. 35 puts a lot in the air. 32 puts a little bit less. So now we're just going to clean up, clean the guns, give it about two or three hours, and wheel this thing outside. So, didn't do a whole lot of recording. Really, it gets too foggy in here to record anything. But hope you guys enjoyed this. So next up is uh, get the hood up to speed. The fenders are done. The trunk is done, so they can the trunk can go on now. Uh, firewall's done, dash is already done. So I got to bring the hood up to speed, uh, the skirts, uh, a balance piece, and just some knickknacks: steering column, glove box, door, AC vents, steering wheel. So a bunch of small stuff. We got plenty of paint left over, plenty of clear. So we should be loaded up with what we need. Really liking these quarter panels. I wish I had some pictures of prior. They were pretty wavy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little episode here. Stay tuned for more work.